Hello everyone, welcome back to Royalty Soaps. As you can see, I am in a new location. For those of y'all who don't follow along on Instagram, I have moved. We tried to make this as indetectable as possible. I tried not to ruin y'all's upload schedule. I did end up skipping one Wednesday, but we are back on track. Caleb and I are in our new home and it came already with a studio. I was so shocked. We're so grateful. And the studio is a little bit older, so I might end up doing like a renovation. I wouldn't make that a series here on YouTube, but if you're interested in seeing the renovation of this area into our new studio slash guest house, comment down below and let me know. And then I might just do like one little dedicated video for that, even though it'll probably take like two months. One of the things I have determined to do is change the backgrounds out for each one of the months, depending on the theme. This month's soap theme is autumn vibes. So it's all the pumpkin spice, kind of earthy, woody soaps. There are actually eight soaps instead of six for this month. We have four frosted and four artisan. And as I am changing out the backgrounds, I actually have one little garland that's supposed to come up here. I will leave you guys guys links to all of the small businesses that I purchased these from down below. I'm really going to make it a priority to purchase my decor from small businesses like Etsy shops and little Instagram shops. Even this t-shirt is from an Etsy shop. So I'm going to leave all the intro and outro information, including the decor. If I'm wearing any makeup by a small shop or, or hair bands or something, I'll leave them all down in the description below so that you guys can support some other small businesses for your interior decorating. The the soap today is inspired by Taylor Swift's song Cardigan on her new album Folklore. This was a last minute decision and a last minute design because of course I was inspired after the song came out and after things were already submitted. I think you guys are absolutely going to love the simplicity of this design. I hope all you Swift lovers out there really, really like it. And I thought it was the perfect way to kind of usher in the fall season. Everyone needs a warm and cozy cardigan and the Folklore album is just such a quintessential autumn vibe, for lack of a better word. So there you go, you guys are all caught up on my news. I have moved, I've had some other things going on in my personal life. If you wanna read any of that or like chat about it or whatever, you can do so over on my personal Instagram. I typically don't bother you guys who are here for soap with all of that, but for those of you who are interested, my Instagram is down below with my TikTok and all the other social media following thingies that I have. And without further ado, let's make some soap. I was about to go neon, but we don't do that right now. We do that at the end. Alrighty, folks, let's make a Taylor Swift inspired soap. I'm honestly surprised it's taken me this long to make a soap inspired by something she's done. I, I'm not like her biggest fan or anything. It's just so many of her songs and works are kind of iconic in pop culture. I'd have thought it'd been brought up by now, but I have to tell you, this entire album definitely reached me in a way that none of her other works did. It definitely feels more mature to me. Very thoughtful. I love her storytelling. Also, it's autumn. We need a cardigan soap, you know what I mean? Okay, so I'm going to mix this up on the highest setting until just past emulsion. So just past the point where the lye water solution and the oils have joined together. They're holding hands and they're not letting go. So let's pour off about 50 ounces for our navy layer. I picked navy because in the cardigan music video, the cardigan Taylor Swift wears at the very end has navy stripes on it. So I thought it'd be fun to put a navy stripe in the middle for those diehard Swifties who would know the reference. And then I'm gonna pour off our cream accent. So this is going to be a majority white and cream soap. That's really rare for me. I don't 
don't typically do that. So for these two containers, I'm gonna add titanium dioxide. So for the first one, I'm only adding 10 grams of titanium dioxide, which is not very much for the amount that is in the bucket. And then I'm gonna add a whole lot more to this other container. So this should be a lot wider. If it's not, I will come back and I'll add even more. <laughs> Okay, I know, it doesn't look like that big a difference between the two. It's not supposed to be a huge difference. And now I'm gonna put onto the scale the navy blue container so I can measure out the right amount of fragrant soil into it as well. And then the rest goes into the white base. And I'll go ahead and add in my navy blue colorant, which is ultramarine blue with black oxide. So now I am going to blend in this fragrant soil. It smells so good. It is a flannel duplication from Bath and Body Works. It's divine. I actually looked really hard for a fragrance soil for this soap that I felt would match it and do it justice. This is the perfect fragrance. I would definitely say that it gives me the most nostalgia out of all of the scents this month. So I'm going ahead and pouring this cream into the white. Again, I would be shocked if you could detect a difference um, in the camera, but I promise you, you can see it in real life. I'm also not gonna completely scrape my container. I'm going to leave about, oh, this much in it so that I can add that to the top. And now I'm going to pour this base into our large slab mold after this quick commercial break. So I'm gonna pour this and I'm gonna be watching for the amount I'm pouring. Now I may decide later to come back and texture these layers, but for now, I really like the idea of it being pretty smooth on top. So I'm gonna be very careful when I pour this because that first layer is still quite a bit runny. And isn't this a nice color transition? I always love watching these types of things on other soap makers channel and on acrylic pour artists because it's just so cool to see one color flood on top of another. It looks so nice. Ooh, ooh, I made a little dip there. Started getting anxious, poured a little bit too fast. Just need to float it on carefully and not be so anxious. Okay, let's get in this corner. That's about it for the dangerous part. And the rest is gonna be relatively easy. Oh, that is just, oh, it's luxurious. Okay, so it could be that this next layer breaks through that blue a little bit which I actually think would look pretty cool. Yeah, it's gonna break a little bit. I'm not worried about it because I thought that these might be textured layers anyway. And it could be that in the future, I go ahead and let these sit up a little bit more before I add this layer on. That way they're all completely textured and we're not really worrying about that. We're just accounting for it to begin with. Okay, I scraped my big containy. Now I'm going to scrape out my little containy. Okay, so let's texture this top. I'm gonna start by just whipping in a circle around the edges because cardigans and sweaters can have a really, really different texture depending on how they're knit or put together, but for this one, I want it to have kind of a chunky sweater look. Like, I want it to look like some granny took really big knitting needles and knit you a sweater for the holidays, but you actually like it because she has good taste. I'm just gonna whip in a little bit of extra texture here in the areas where it's a little more flat. Oh, yes, stunning. Okay. I think that looks good. And now using some dark navy blue mica, this is from Nurture Soap, I'm going to go down the middle of our sweater here and just put a little bit of prettiness on top, a little bit of accent. All right now I'm gonna start with doing only two to three little bits per, and we'll move on from there and see if I need to add more, but I'm pretty pleased with the minimalist appearance of this soap thus far. And the trick to getting these small is to not putting very much on your spoon. If you add too much, they'll fall out in bigger clumps and do things like that. I should have had less on my spoon. For each little loaf, I put about this much. You still have to be really light with it though because it can very easily just do stuff like that. It's not an exact science yet, okay? I'm just working out the kinks. <laughs> 
Okay, I think that's it. I know it's so simple on top, but I really do think that's gonna add to the elegance of the bars. I am gonna spritz this with rubbing alcohol, but honestly, if it ashes, I'm not even gonna be that upset. I actually think it'll look really good. Also, the fragrance oil I'm using does discolor a little bit, so I have taken that into account, and I hope that by the end of all of this, it is a nice cream color. There shouldn't be any stark white, it should just mellow out into cream. I'm not gonna take the camera down and bring you in up close because I feel the shine coming off the lights is gonna basically blind the camera. So this is what it looks like up close. We will be back in 18 to 24 hours to split this slab into loaves and cut the loaves into bars after this quick commercial break. Okay, I already know I'm gonna lighten up the white a little bit more. It turned a gorgeous color, like absolutely stunning, but I want it a little bit lighter and I want a little bit more difference between the cream and the white. It does look really pretty, but it kind of looks like a ghost swirl right now. But this is what it looks like on the inside. Whoops! <laughs> I can see something jumped up there. Here we go. That's a little cleaner looking. Now these lines are pretty straight, not gonna lie, pretty straight, but they're not supposed to be, and hopefully in the soaps to come, it will be a little more textured. The fragrance for this though, my goodness, an absolute dream. It soaps like a dream. It smells like a dream. It's really, really perfect. I also love the simplicity of the top of the bars. The question of the day goes out to all the Taylor Swift fans that Caleb told me are called Swifties. <laughs> because I didn't know out there. Which song is your favorite on the Folklore album? I wanna know, tell me down below. I'm obsessed. Like I said earlier, it's kind of rare that I do something so like simple, but I really, really think it works, especially for the fragrance oil. My cat Esther just caught a grasshopper. She was a little ferocious about it too. Anyway. <laughs> would like to get a bar of this cardigan inspired soap it will be at royaltysoaps.com with the rest of the autumn vibes collection on november 7th 3 p.m central standard time also i remembered from the intro i was talking about small businesses you should support my nails look at these nails do you see them aren't they adorable these nails were done by paolo at the pink mango nail lounge you guys if you're in the dfw area you want your some fall nails those people are so talented absolutely tell them that I sent you I will leave their Instagram down below she is just destroying this grasshopper and it still has life in it it's flying away how is this happening I'm so distracted by it I'm sorry <laughs> It's just so jarring. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I will see you guys back on Saturday for another soap making video. Also on October 31st, I will be releasing a spoopy Halloween video where I make some bubble bars and Halloween bath bombs with Kenneth. We actually haven't filmed that yet, so I probably shouldn't talk about it. Anyway, I hope you all have an absolutely marvelous day. Be sure you go do something fun for yourself, like, picking pumpkins. Again, if you live in the DFW area, Rubles has the most beautiful pumpkins. You could also try a local farmer's market or maybe baking something with pumpkin in it. I have some pumpkin muffins I really want to try. If the recipe's good, I'll share it on Instagram. And if it's not, I won't bother you with it. <laughs> and until next time, have an absolutely royal day and bye for now. Meow.